Welcome once again to Crisis in the Toyverse. Today we're going to be looking at the DC Designer Series DC Bombshells Wonder Woman figure. Right off the bat, let's talk about this Designer Series here. DC Collectibles has truly made a certifiable hit on their hands. This thing's got fantastic articulation, great sculpt, and the unsung beauty, if you will, of this action figure line is how they've transformed it from paper form to plastic form in just a few short years. And I think DC Collectibles is really on to something really fantastic with these figures. So let's quit the chitter chatter and pitter patter and let's talk about the sculpt. Let's bring her in here. Let's let the camera focus. Let's talk about that crazy facial expression she's got going on. Now my girlfriend says she looks like a complete whack job. I think it says, hi, I'm Wonder Woman from the 1940s. I like to have fun. I like to smile. I like to have a good time. Some people think it's a little outlandish. Me personally, I dig it. I love the bandana sculpted here on the hair. Speaking of hair, the hair flows wonderfully. And it looks great. She's got this rosy, the rivet, riveter, rivet, one of the two. Looks going for it. They've done a fantastic job with that. They got some nice sculpted detail here on the uh, female tatas, if you will. Uh, the collar piece right here is sculpted. Her gauntlets, let's see if I can get that to focus, are also sculpted very nice. She's got a nice belt buckle here that's sculpted great. Um... Take a shot every time you hear the word sculpted. The, the stars are painted on nicely. And the boots are nice and shiny. And look great. And uh, right there we got that wonderful Wonder Woman booty. Now that I've come across as a total toy perv. Let's go ahead and hit the fun factor here. Let's talk about articulation with this badass chick. For the head. It is on a ball peg. And it can go up. That much. She's looking into the bright lights. She's going somewhere. Ah! Her head can look down that much. Can go side to side. Even with the big hair, she can do the exorcist turn all the way around. The pea soup is not included. So you do got some nice range of motion here, which I really appreciate. As for the upper body, she's got a diaphragm joint that goes back not a lot. Well, I'll be honest. It goes down a little bit more. And she's got some side-to-side -side action. As for the arms, they're on, I believe, a pin joint. Maybe it's a... Yeah, it's a pin joint. And there goes her lasso. More on that in a bit. Anyways, for the arms. Go all the way around. They can sit at her side pretty nicely. They go out that much. She's got a biceps uh, cut right here that's uh, nicely concealed by the shoulder sleeve thing being rolled up. Double bend at the elbows. And her hand, let's get the camera to focus here, is uh, it's got a peg that fits in that can go up and down and allows it to uh, turn all the way around. Here's the other cool part of articulation on this thing. By the way, this is a $23 figure, and it's a female figure, and she's got double-jointed elbows. Eat your heart out, Hasbro. Anyways, in terms of uh, her waist crunch here, it can go down that much, and it can go back that much. Her legs got the import style uh, thingy mabobber going on. Uh, brain fart. Uh, they don't work all that well, but they kind of do. She's got a bicep cut right here, or not a bicep cut, wow, a thigh cut right there. The legs can kick up that much, and they can go back about that much. She's got double jointed knees, folks, double jointed knees. No boot cut, that's just pegged right in there, which I'm totally fine with. And she's got a hinge at the foot that brings it up that much. Brings it down that much. She's got ankle pivot, but 
I mean, you could do some stuff with it, but it's not amazing or anything. It doesn't blow my mind like some people. So overall, fantastic articulation. I can't stress enough how cool it is to have this figure and to have the great articulation that goes with an awesome sculpt. Now that I've talked about sculpt and articulation, let's get into the accessories because she has quite a bit. So let's start with her fists. These come standard. This is what she's packed with, the fists. And let me bring in the rest of the accessories so I can talk about that a little more. So let's talk accessories, folks. She's got a pair of open gripping hands, which are used to hold, I believe, the wrench here or anything else. You could have her choking people if that's your thing. Now the wrench here, I think, is very nicely painted and sculpted. Um, the I don't know what that's called, but it doesn't move like on a real wrench. It's just fixed in that position, which is okay. And she holds it quite nicely. Uh, quite nicely. Wow. Tongue twister there, folks. Like I said, she does have her lasso of truth. Unfortunately, you can't do any bondage poses with this lasso. But it does peg nicely into her. Let me bring her back in here so you can see how that is done. Bear with me a moment. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this in on camera. And let's not just look at her knees. Let's, let's see here. Did I do it? I did. So it sits in there. It does have a tendency to fall out, but it overall, I mean, when I had it uh, moving around with her legs and stuff, it didn't really pop off that much. It would be nice if the peg was a little different for it to fit in there. But, you know, let's move the camera back. Sorry, folks. Um, it's not horrible, and it does look nice on her. So you have that. And then you have this last accessory here, if I can get the camera to focus, which is this ball and chain attached with a cinder block on it. Now the cool thing about this, folks, besides the awesome paint job they gave on it with some rust and stuff, is if you have woman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman tied up. Wow, this is turning in bad. If you have Wonder Woman tied up with the chains, you can use this feature right here to pull it out, and she could break the evilness that man has bonded her to, among other things. So let's go over a size comparison, and then I'll give my final thoughts. Thanks to the beautiful magic of paws, which is a fairly new concept invented by the Russians in the 1870s. Okay, I made that part up. Thanks to paws, I was finally able to get both these folks to stand side by side and believe it or not the DC collectibles figure was a pain in the keister to get standing up and that's probably my biggest complaint but that's really my only complaint with this figure um besides the ankle rockers obviously so here they are side to side as you can see she stands very tall over the import harley quinn so these two really don't fit together unless you're doing something weird with them but I don't know what maybe perspective shots or something but anyways there's a quick size comparison so you could see how she fits in scale wise and actually you know what I'll bring in that Craven again to show you so there's Craven looking down at the ground so you see she even stands over him which I guess necessarily isn't a bad thing so anyways folks this is the second review I've done so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you laughed. You cried. I hope you told a friend. Uh, I hope you didn't do anything illegal. But if you did, I guess I couldn't stop you anyways. So thank you for coming by, clicking on the channel. Follow under Cover Capes on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Me, you can follow on the Twitter and the Facebook. And make sure to use the hashtag Toy Lover Crew to feature your action figure art. Please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff you hear in all YouTube videos. And tally-ho!